Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your May 2022 mid-month tarot reading. This is a reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for all the support. I send you so much love and appreciation right back. And if you are new here, you're welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a uh, Reading doesn't resonate, just come back in a couple of days. Sometimes the storylines are really strong and they're for somebody. They're not for me, I can tell you that. Um, so Fridays are a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So one week I did a uh, four-month predictive. Today will be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. I also do love readings on Mondays. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Gemini. Messages for Gemini, please. All right, we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. All right, current situation, we've got the hangman. The immediate influence is the seven of swords. Now in your subconscious, you have the knight of pentacles. The distant past, we have the five of swords. The more recent past, the chariot. The energy coming towards you is the lovers. Your energy is the ten of swords. You, the person or situation you're attracting is the seven of wands. We have the page of cups and your hopes and fears. Nine of Pentacles in the outcome. Now, the bottom of the deck, this is cool. That is really interesting. We've got 78 cards here. No way. You've got the seven, eight. So you have to understand what just happened here. Okay, the, the nine came from the top. We've got seven, eight, nine. You have a major evolution going on here in terms of, you know, if it's money or a relationship, you've got some wonderful cards here to support both. But that's almost eerie to me to see this. And maybe everybody else here doesn't get as excited about the card alignments, but it's huge when you see that. It's a progression. And so I would have loved to have seen the Ten of Pentacles somewhere. I, I'll tell you this, if you're getting Ten of Pentacles in other readings, I, it's not a coincidence. So you have here Gemini, which we love to see. We have Cancer. We've got um, the Hangman too as a major arcana. And so with this, I feel like there may be something with this two of swords that's related to the seven and five, some old emotional business, unfinished emotional business that may be holding you back. Now, I get this, and this may be for one person here. If there's some kind of a decision to be made about a property, whether it's an inheritance or it's through a divorce or it's something like that where there's some kind of a decision. I do feel like it's going to get made. I mean, I feel like you're going to be taking the lead though. Um, again, that may be for only like one person, but I have to acknowledge that. With that two of swords though, I do feel like somebody was holding you back a bit. And I mean this by choice. You, I, I, There was some kind of a concern with that seven or five of swords. With a two, it's like you're not seeing it how it is. And so I do feel like for some of you with the hanged man being there, we'll get to that in a minute. That's going to be a big turning point. And don't look back. Don't regret it. Because look, what you're seeking is also seeking you. Nothing will stop you from getting what you want. Even if it seems like you took a detour, even if it was a relationship where you said, my God, I wasted years there. Doesn't matter because you've got a build coming. So the seven of pentacles tells you your money's growing on trees. I mean, we love that. Sevens are about success and victory. So if it was a job, or a career change and you were at it for longer than you wanted to be, I do feel like the universe's timing is perfect for you. It's things are going to move forward in a way that couldn't be better. And with the eight of pentacles there, eights are about rhythm and vibration. You're in alignment there. It's the underlying element of the eight of pentacles is the unity. It's bringing things together. It's manifesting. So you definitely have a strong energy here um coming through with this though okay so the seven of swords is like somebody who was very unprepared and again they might have been laying a guilt trip on you and i do feel like with that hangman energy you're really able to see your own life's path clearly and you're also able to see them 
So with the hangman, you've got that illumination of the crown. What I love about it is you release all the resistance. So you're not hanging on to bitterness and resentment. If somebody did you wrong, I feel like you're moving free of it. And it may have been something in quite a bit of the past. But I feel like now you're moving in a place where you just aren't attached to that energy anymore. I mean, energy can never be created or destroyed, but it's more about do you stay in alignment. So with the hangman, it's surrender to win. And that doesn't mean that you give up and you, you know, end up not having your dreams fulfilled. It really is about surrendering the, the bitterness and the resentment and the anger because you don't need that. You're moving forward here. So if it's a relationship, you have a love coming in that's beautiful. You have a love that grows. If it's a job too or a move, because you do have cards of moving or overcoming, if it's that for you too, it's definitely something that's going to, with this lovers and chariot energy, it's going to be like a breath of fresh air. I mean, it's going to feel right. You're, you're in total alignment with this where it just feels like this is exactly where you're supposed to be. You're right on schedule. So with the um, the Knight of, of Pentacles here in your subconscious, good news is on the way with this one. The Knight of Pentacles has you wanting to do things in a very succinct kind of methodical way. I feel like you want that stability. You want things to move forward, but you're not going to be in a place where, or if your nature is to kind of do things abruptly, the knight is telling you to slow it down a bit. Okay, that's the or with that. But knights come in of service. So again, it may be something saying, hey, we need to slow down a little bit. We need to pay attention to these documents before we sign them. Hey, send an email because you know what? You're going to want this in writing later. Or, you know, go, you know, go, go to that, go to that comedy club, go to that show. And, you know, that kind of stuff where the knight will kind of give you little nudges to put you in the right place at the right time. It's helping. It's energy that helps you get into alignment for what you really desire. So in the distant past, we got this five of swords. Again, I feel like you had a blowout with somebody here. And I, the two there too, is a, it's like seeing them in a new light. So I feel like too, for somebody, you had somebody really go off on you. And I just don't think it'll ever be the same, honestly. And I don't feel like you have any desire to repair it or try to pretend that it is something that it's not. It may have been a friend or a relative. I just don't see that coming, becoming a part of your life really again. You might have them sort of on the periphery, like you still see them on occasion or have some exchanges, but it's not going to be somebody in your inner circle. It's not going to be one of those five people, the most important people that we surround ourselves with because we unconsciously become like them. And I just don't see you bringing that back in, especially not with the chariot. This is a very important energy. Okay. It really is a card of a major journey. It's a, a mature energy, but it's also telling you you're going to meet somebody important here. So whatever this is, this change of heart, this new perspective, I feel like it's a total upgrade. If it's a new relationship, even if it's moving, because this is a card of taking a journey. So it can be metaphorical, like your life's journey, but also for some of you, it feels like with the nine of pentacles, an actual move, something you've always wanted. So if you're having a a squabble about moving with somebody too, you're still going to move on. I don't care what they say or do with this. Um, it is a very positive card. Okay. So they're telling you that things are going to work out. You, they're, you're moving on and they're moving in the right direction with this. It's law of attraction energy, but it's great stability. So there's really nothing that's going to have you second guessing or change your mind or be confused about anything. It's clarity and it's the confidence and strength to go forward. So with the lovers here, we mentioned the chariot brings it in too, but the lovers as well. Uh, an important time here. Again, that hangman energy, it feels more like you changing your perspective than somebody else. Sometimes it feels, it can feel like it's a change in, you know, two people where they come back together with this. I feel like you meet a match and it's, a heaven sent. It really is a relationship that changes your life. This can also be a card of fertility too. So for some of you, it could even be, it does feel like it's a relationship where it ends up becoming a marriage and children and all of that. If you're in something already though, it's telling you it's like the love of your life. It really is an, a beautiful relationship inside and out. 
It is something where you both want to be in it. There's a reciprocity here and there's an investment here, but it is so worth it when you see this. So it's beauty, it's harmony, and it's it really is the right relationship. So with this, in terms of career too, if it was something you left behind in a job, something you didn't see with a job, there's not going to be any looking back. You know, a new job or a new, something new that you do for yourself, a change or a choice that you've made with your career is also telling you you're on the right path and it's flourishing. So the Ten of Wands, you're not afraid of investing, that's for sure. But Tens are about realizations. And so with this one, I do feel like you start to realize what you've put in and, and really wanting a return on it. So I also feel like you do invest in relationships. You jump in with both feet. You give your heart to somebody and you want to see that return. And so I feel like it's going to be time to put the wands down. There's not going to be nearly as much struggle if you've had some relationships, again, where you didn't see somebody clearly or it was a job that you really invested in. And it, it, it's not, there was no waste of time, okay? Nothing is wasted in the universe's economy. It was all part of the deal. And it's just like you're moving forward and it's going to be a lot less burdensome. You put down that, whatever that weight is, and you float free, Gemini, into this new, new energy. So with the seven of wands, the sevens, again, we've got another one here leading you to victory, leading you to success. So there might be some navigating, like I said, with that Knight of Pentacles, really making sure that you're paying attention to things, getting information as needed if it's a, a move that you're making. So those of you that are in a relationship and are moving in somewhere together or by, you know going on a trip even, anything that has to do with a move, they keep saying, I do feel like you're going to navigate things. Part, about, part of this, though, that we like is that you're in alignment. It doesn't mean when you're in spiritual alignment that you never have a problem. It's just that you can find solutions much quicker. So with the seven of wands, you continue to move forward. You continue to navigate the little daily, you know, pitfalls or little issues, but it's nothing that's going to stop you. This is having a conquering spirit moving forward and really knowing who you are and not compromising that for anything. So with the Page of Cups, pages are messengers. I do like this one. It's Law of Attraction Energy. So you have that a few times. But it attracts, and in some ways, I feel this with the Chariot too. The Chariot has kind of a nice warm undercurrent to it because it's Cancer Energy. So there's still a loving energy, even though that Chariot can kind of trample things and just get you what you want. With this, I feel like it's another indication that you're still going to have fun in the meantime. So I do feel like if there's a lot of like push-pull energy and getting something done, you're kind of laughing your way through it. This is also a time too, though, you've got it with the Nine of Pentacles as well, where you're going to meet new people that are going to be fun, spontaneous. They really do bring things up. They bring your vibration up. And I feel like you are more emerging into a newer friend group, people that are just more fun to be with so and trustworthy too. So with the Nine of Pentacles, you've got attainment here. This is the luxury card. So anything that you're looking to buy, it's yours. I mean, it's there's there's nothing that will stop you from getting it. But it's also, too, a card where you're very well connected to people. Good companionships, community connections, all of that coming together. Even though she's a single lady card, I still you have a relationship here. There's no doubt about it. So I do feel like it's about working together coming together and doing it in un unity, okay? Not not being too like single-minded is what they say with this one. So let's see here, Gemini, what advice the angels have for you? What else does Gemini need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all involved with Gemini. Messages for Gemini, please. Okay. Forgiveness. Well, again, we talked about that, didn't we? Because you're going to move on and you're not going to carry baggage from the past. So anything that's done is done. No need to worry, they say, because you definitely have a, you've got a nice relationship here that's represented, but you've got an increase too in terms of material gains. 
and they say abundance. So that doesn't surprise me, especially with that nine of pentacles. She lives in an opulent garden. You have within the next few months, so you're definitely getting an energetic shift coming in. And they give you a yes because there's nothing off limits for you. You can have, do, or be anything, Gemini. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.